As many of you are already aware, our planet is getting warmer, and the use of fossil fuels plays a major role in this cause. The warming that the Earth has already undergone has produced many unwanted environmental consequences, such as more powerful hurricanes, flooding, and habitat destruction. However, as it seems there is no hope, there is a silver lining. Change is possible. Fossil fuel alternatives have become more accessible and are more financially practical than ever. Not to mention, with the global climate change movement developing, the world is on our side, and there are many countries and big international organizations all working towards the same goal, reducing emissions and slowing down the warming of our planet. Recently, we have seen the growing popularity of climate change marches as a way to put pressure on countries and big companies to limit emissions. For example, the world's largest climate march, People's Climate March in 2017, played a tremendous role in starting the conversation about fossil fuels and had concrete effects like the Rockefeller Brothers Fund as well as many other institutions announcing that they would pull their money away from fossil fuels. More recently, we have seen thousands of people from Madrid to Chile protest in order to put pressure on delegates that will meet in COP25, a UN climate talk, to pull the brakes on fossil fuel use. Although this process is still being undergone, the effects are seen as coalitions like AOSIS are making huge strides in terms of voicing their experiences of climate injustice and showing their perspective to bigger countries. Marches and protests, no matter on what scale, are always significant because they put emphasis on politicians and large corporations by showcasing the mass support of the public who are advocating for reducing emissions. However, all these marches and everything they have accomplished would be nothing without the individuals that make them up. It is up to us to be passionate enough about the dangers of fossil fuels to take a stand. I know personally, as a college student and someone with little to no significant financial or political influence, it seems daunting to tackle this kind of a pressing issue, but protesting is a great way to do so. Similarly, I am aware that many young adults not just college students, find it difficult to find the time to attend marches, but there are many other ways to be a part of the solution. Signing petitions and making donations can all be done with a click of your computer mouse and can be just as helpful to environmental organizations as you are demonstrating your support for them, but simply in a different manner. It is also possible to make a change in the places you go and with the people you already see in your day-to-day -day life. Informing your family and friends, as well as other people you know, such as classmates, teammates, and people at your place of worship, is a way to start a movement from the ground level, starting with the people closest to you. This leads to the final point. If no existing organization or group exists, start your own. Big climate change groups are great because they provide the general population with an easy way to be a part of the anti-fossil fuel movement, but they are by no means the only way to do so. If there is an action, you would like to take that is not hosted by any organization, take initiative and do it yourself. Climate change reform relies on all of us. Take a stand today and be the change that you want to see in our earth.